Axis win. Alright, as I do jump in the game, we're already straight away live. It is 5 1 for Diamond against Loco. Do a quick cross turn on that, so you have uh, DR Zit, Surf, Nuni, Savu, and Schofield for the Diamond team. And we have the one tap, Satan, Mozart, and Sevis. We do see uh, Diamond having two players already on the B-bomb side. The one picks off the first frag onto uh, your Z. Not sure how to pronounce that name, but we'll uh, we'll see. So the one is actually going to go for an A plant. For fake, did spot a player there, but Satan will come in the back. Sevis as well onto Nuni. It's all on to Savu. Picks himself up the first frag. One on four now. Tagged up by the uh, scope. And I'm not too sure if uh, Savu will be able to pull it up. He's still all the way over at that light spot. Perhaps he's just going to save his weapon. But no, he won't. Moza will completely Allies deny win. him that. And it's going to be 5 2. Look at that with Moza there as he didn't spot anyone on the cross. Nearly be needed as well for his uh, trouble. Loco are opting to go towards B. As uh, the one and taps both doing work with that Thompson's. Picking up two quick frags onto the diamond team. Now they have got full control over this B side. Schofield is kind of trying to uh, push in the back. Picking up Satan. The bomb has been planted meanwhile on B. Savin, Surf, and Schofield will uh, have to try and uh, defuse this plant with still uh, four more players of uh, Loco left alive. Perhaps he's just uh, gonna be sitting in this corner. Which could be a good spot. People just don't jump around you. So, uh, Surf has been tagged up. Mozart just comes up with a double kill, and Mozart once again on to save you! Great play there from Mozart, getting himself a hat trick of frags. 5 3, or uh, Loco gonna come back from this, or uh, gonna diamond, uh, just gonna pull away with it once more. So we do see Mozart picking off a uh, serve there, scope down for diamond. A little bit concerned for diamond, as they haven't got one player uh, across to beat. Again, Satan Mozart will uh, get some frags in. Schofield and uh, DRZ getting two frags back into the back. Schofield left alive. One on three. Bomb being planted on B, of course. Now, we'll uh, try and push the half truck. The mid garden taps over at the bomb side. Wow, lovely shot there from Taps. Great reactions onto Schofield. Mid air dead. And 5 uh, 4. Pick it up with Moses once again, see if he's able to uh, get some more frags on his cross. As, uh, the opening frag that went to the diamond side. As uh, Sev is down. Oh! Diamond actually managing to cross that uh, towards the B bomb side. They got two players there now. And Loco are just gonna be completely denied to uh, plant the wars B. But Moza does get a nice nade frag onto Nuni. Which could perhaps open up the B bomb site, but there's still oh Satan gets a nice bash onto uh, Surf. Taps comes up with a frag onto Savu, and Diamond are not going to be happy about that one. Satan just being allowed to push through mid and bashing someone. As uh, near Z is being picked off as well by uh, Taps. Schofield now and a one or two did spot one more player over the half truck. And I love a couple of shot tagging Mozart. Trying to pressure him, but Mozart managed to get away to the safety of the office. Satan will pick him off. It's gonna make it 5-5. Five, five. Roll back even Stevens. Perhaps uh, I am the curse for Diamond. 
they did were they uh, actually were five one up when I joined it. The one nearly getting that frag over at mid, Surf will get himself the first frag onto taps with the grenade frag. He's gonna feel nearly being picked up by that nade Nunny. Shuts down one more of the loco side. Some more shots, but they're just not dying for him. He's just gonna have to work a little bit harder, and it will work out for him now. But uh, that's gonna immediately punish him for that. Two of my three, actually, as uh, Schofield did down one, but he picked off one on three. Saved in the last man. Shotgun and Thompson, but he's being pushed in the back as well. Gonna have to be careful. This is gonna be tricky for uh, Satan to clutch one. This one, uh, I mean, they all know his position. They're just gonna wait for uh, Satan to make the fatal mistake. Did just make a little bit of sound there. Switch to the Thompson. Still have got me sitting around that corner. <laughs> to sure if Satan will check it. Then he will shut him down, of course, from the back. 6 5. Win. Diamond finally take a round in. <laughs> finally, it's gonna be 6 5, which is already a good half for, uh, for the Diamond side. See an opening frags as jet. Uh, the one did manage to dodge those nades. Savu will shut down the one anyway. So there's onto Savu. Satan onto Schofield. This is looking promising for uh, the local side as Satan gets himself another frag onto Nuni. Bomb's gonna go planted by uh, Taps. So it is a two on four. So our friend uh, DRZ left alive. DRZ's been picked off by Loco. Uh, Mozart, sorry. Surf. He's just gonna have to go for it. It is the last round, remember? It just doesn't make any sense to save your weapon. He will try to go for that jumping scope shot, but it's not to be. Satan will pick him off. And that's a great round there from Satan once more. It's gonna make it 6 6, all back even. And although I do think Diamond must be feeling a great effort this half. Even though they were 5 1 up, they did manage to uh, keep their. Uh, keep it to 6 uh, 6. Which is pretty pretty impressive on Burgundy. Now we are just waiting on them to ready up. And uh, if you guys haven't done it already, please do follow the stream. I will be streaming more Call of Duty 2 after the event. And also uh, Call of Duty 4 so, as well, as the name says. But Loco, her on the defense now, Diamond on the attack. Gonna be interesting to see how uh, Diamond will approach the attacking side. Probably just gonna do the uh, the meta game, but you never know what these teams have in store for us. Just waiting on the uh, service to ready up. I will pick it up with Surf. It's the uh, scope for Diamond, as you know. Surf nearly got nailed it there, but luckily it did dodge it. But at the cost of uh, not watching the cross for a couple of seconds, which could uh, prove a little bit crucial. 
Yes, we do see Surf getting a lovely scope shot in onto Surf's side and being uh, picked off as well by Schofield. The bomb has been planted meanwhile on B by uh, Unit. One and Mozart and Taps left alive. This is being picked off meanwhile by Surf as well, getting himself the second frag of the round. The one in a little bit of trouble, but does get the frag onto uh, DRZ. Still, though, four more players to find. The one and Taps have to go big. Not gonna happen. Nunu will pick off the, the one there. Taps is gonna be nowhere near the bomb side. Even if he gets three more frags, it's, it's just not gonna happen. And Savvy will pick it off. 7 6, first round on the board on the attacking side for Diamond. Let's pick it up with Surf once more. Let's see if he uh, can land the shot here on the cross. Nearly getting that one, just hitting the wall there. Go uh, for a second chance, didn't land it though, but Nuni will with his grenade frag. Loser back onto Nuni. Uh, Diamond have got the sort of control over this B side. Now they have sort of uh, shut down Satan with a grenade frag. Trying to do uh, some work, but it is just not to be again. A little kill in a 104 situation is just not gonna happen. Is it? We'll uh, mop it up. 8 <clears throat> 6, 2 round lead here for a diamond. Taps perhaps is going to be trying to cross. Just will, the one will open up onto uh, Savu. DRZ picks off uh, Savu Satan onto Schofield. And now, this is a good round here from Loco. They, uh, they did manage to uh, to push quite hard. Satan's already in, uh, in their spawn house. He's uh, pretty much sure to get a frag. There we go, Surf dead. Did hurt uh, another player over there. Picked off by uh, DRZ and B44. It's going to be holding the A cross. And we're sitting in tight as well. Taps is going to be the one to defend B, but the one has been picked off by DRZ. And now we're all back, even Stevens. Is that? We'll be going towards B and Nuni. We'll uh, perhaps uh, be a distraction over at B as Taps is being picked off. And it's all in the hands of Mozart once again. It's a 1 or 2 this time. It could, He could clutch it, but it's not going to be made easy for him. Your head's going to be sitting in mid. We're at B. But slowly approaching uh, the B bomb site through the B alley. Oh wow, DRZ just coming in his back and a fantastic round there from DRZ, getting himself George Foreman. And it's 9-6, three round lead here for Diamond. And I did think that uh, Loco did a little throw that round. I think they, they should have had that. Ozart comes in with a lovely scope shot there onto Nuni. Let's go field throwing at the nade towards the uh, nade garden. Does tag up a player there. Save it has been picked off by uh, Satan. Surf so will uh, drop the one. Say second frag of the round onto Schofield. Surf so and uh, set the life. We have seen Diamond do this before. The two on four. Especially with the DRZ still up. Oh wow, nice headshot there onto Seves. DRZ man, he's just spot on with his MP44 but finally being dropped by Mozart. But Surf does shut down Mozart straight away. And it's Satan and Taps versus uh, Surf. He's uh, sitting in mid garden, MG alley actually. Around the corner over at B, it did just hear a player over there. Actually, not fancying uh, staying over at B long. B alley, sorry. So, uh, Surf could still pose a threat. 
He did just pull out a fake, but maybe not the best idea to uh, to make loads of sound after that step. So we'll pick him off 9-7. Not sure who is gonna win here, but definitely uh, does seem like Diamond are, uh, are looking better there than Loco at the moment. So as well, uh, find DRZ. We have a plant coming in. I think we have. So we will uh, shut down uh, Satan there. That's a incredibly, incredibly fast plant there. Still will uh, pick up Mozart as well. Surf once again onto Taps. Great sniper work there from uh, Surf. Just holding that B cross. Surf getting himself a hat trick of frags and the George Foreman onto the one seven. Fantastic stuff there from Surf, and he's gonna make it down to 10-7. And also a very nice fast plant there from Diamond. And Loco not just been uh, been able to react to that fast plant. Which pretty much always proved to be deadly on this map. So do you go into another round here, and Moza picking up the first one onto DRZ. The one actually now picked up the scope. So do you see Taps trying uh, desperately to hold off any uh, attackers from the B alley. Meanwhile, gonna come down by uh, Savu. What? Why did he stop planting? Well, it was a nade coming or something. Moza will get himself a second frag of the round. Schofield drops a service. Schofield once again onto Moza. Great play by Schofield. I'm just missing all these frags. Savu will uh, drop uh, the one. Nuni will come around. Picks off taps. And he once again onto Satan. Fantastic stuff from Diamond. Nuni getting two frags. Schofield as well. And it's gonna make 11 7. Get up with Surf here. He did uh, spot the scope of the one. So uh, DRZ will uh, find Moser with his grenade frag. B push is definitely on from the diamond side. The one is gonna pick off uh, Savu and. He's just the one that's being defending the B-bomb side. Satan comes over as well and uh, in support picking up Nuni. Field being picked off as well by Satan. Set and serve for life. Just make that just serve. Let's go Benant. No place to find. It's not gonna happen. Satan will confirm himself a fantastic round. Give himself a hat trick of frags. 11-8, but you're right, I should press tap sometimes. But I do feel Diamond will take this one away. The way they are playing right now, so if we'll uh, shut down Sevis on the cross. One will uh, charge back with a return back onto Nuni. But, you can see Diamond once again going towards the B form quite fast. Nate did come, uh, come through, but it's gonna it only uh, got tagged there, and the one just rushing in, backing off Schofield. Surf on two taps. It's just gonna come in. Where's DRZ? Still defusing. Actually, he stopped defusing, which could have been a crucial thing, but nevertheless, Satan will shut down uh, DRZ. I'm just gonna make it 11 9. They are uh, slowly edging closer uh, to the diamond scoreline. Explosives diffused. Axis win. Question is, will diamond allow them to even advance more? <gasps> Gonna go with surf. Let's go for the little, uh, drop Mozart. Very nice and already frag. The one onto uh, Schofield. Surf is gonna be expecting the one uh, to peak anytime soon. <clears throat> He's gonna have to play it careful. Well, we do see Nuni be bombsite with it being planted by his teammate. 
It's less looking to be like a diamond round unless Loco will get some quick frags in. Say the does uh, pick up the RZ. To uh, bait out any possible fire, Surf will shut down the one in the back. Oh, Surf again! On two Sevets, and be finally being picked off by Teps. Teps now on his own against Nuni and uh, Savu. Savu will come up from the back, shutting him down. Match point for Diamond, 12 9. Yeah, no, right? Casting for nine hours. <laughs> But it is uh, perhaps going to be the last round here as uh, Diamond are opting to go uh, and win this one. DRZ will find himself the first rack on to Sevis but finally be punished by uh, Satan. The one getting a nice scope shot in onto Schofield. The Darkroom win. Oh, the one again through the smoke onto Surf. Fantastic work from him. Well. Diamond uh, did manage to plant the bomb and it's all in the hands of Sabu. If you want to win this one right now, you gotta clutch this one. And it's a one for you. He managed to get himself in a really good position because now Loco are completely unaware of his uh, his location. He doesn't have a nade anymore, which is quite a shame. He does get himself the first rack of the Moser, but being picked up by Satan, though. No. That was quite unfortunate, but still very well played there by Satan. Gonna make it 12 10. So let's see what the one is up to. Try and uh, peek the scope. Peek surf. Surf's uh, actually being punished uh, by Tap's grenade. You know what? I think they might do it, you know? The one will get himself a no scope in onto Sabu. Schofield being picked off as well. It's all on the hands of uh, DRZ. I've seen him go big before. Can he do it again? This time he's going to be all alone. Those are taps and servers to find. So it's going to be sitting on B taps in the uh, bottom spawn house. Access spawn. Is that all that? Uh, now make his move. Still uh, has plenty of time to maneuver. Make his decision about whether what to what to do. But can he find a frag? Could come in the back of Mozart. He can actually pick up that scope as well. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, Moza just sitting in at the grass and he will pick up the RZ. Very well played there, 12 11. Just one more round for uh, Diamond to win and uh, one more round for Loco to draw it. So the pressure is on for Diamond. You can only assume because they just won the win this one. So if uh, that's been dropped by Moza, let's go field back into Moza. And Nuni is on the B-bomb side, and it's not really being contested by uh, the local side, except the occasional nades. Nuni has just been tagged up. It is a risky plan, though, but it will pay off. It will pay dividends. All uh, Diamond need to do now is just to sit and wait for uh, Loco to make their approach. That will find the RZ. Oh, wow, the one will shut down Schofield from the back side. Pressure is on for Nuni and Savu. Savu is just gonna sit there. Nuni, meanwhile, did pick off taps. Lucius. This is the first shot. Nuni will be there to the rescue, picking off those two players there. And getting himself another one into the one. Very, very nice play by Nuni. Keeping himself in the game and winning the round for, uh, in fact, the game for Diamond. It's gonna be 13 11. That's a nice George Foreman there from Nini. Very, very well played by Diamond.